Joshua worry, whom should I fear? I know my Lord, he will make a way, a way for me. I know my Lord, he will make a way, a way for me. I know my Lord, he will make a way, a way for me. If I should live all in life, why should I worry? Whom should I fear? I know my Lord, he will make a way, a way for me. I know my God, he will make a way, a way for me. I know my Lord, he will make a way, a way for me. If I should live a holy life, why should I worry and whom should I fear? I know my Lord, he will make a way, a way for me. I know my Lord, he will make a way, a way for me. If I should live a holy life, why should I worry and whom should I fear? I know my Lord, he will make a way, a way for me. I know my Lord, he will make a way, a way for me. I know my God, he will make a way, a way for me. I know my Lord, he will make a way, a way for me. If I should live a holy life, why should I worry? Whom should I fear? I know my Lord. He will make a way. A way for me. Thank you, Jesus. What a wonderful man. He is. What a wonderful man. Jesus is. That wonderful man. He is. That wonderful man, Jesus is that wonderful man. Yes, he is that wonderful man. Mama saw is that wonderful man. He is, he is that wonderful man. Jesus is that wonderful man. He is that wonderful man. My That wonderful man, yes. That wonderful man, Jesus is. That wonderful man, yes. Yeah, that wonderful man, Jesus is. That wonderful man, yes. Yeah, that wonderful man. Oh, my master is that wonderful man. He is that wonderful man. Jesus is that wonderful man. He is that wonderful man. He is. We give you glory, Lord. I see all of you. We give you glory, Lord. I see all of you. You are wonderful. You are what you are, Lord. You are wonderful. You are what you are, Lord. You are wonderful. You are what you are, Lord. You are you are worthy, oh Lord. 
We gave you glory, Lord. I see all of you. We gave you glory, Lord. I see all of you. You are wonderful. You are what you are. 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 We give you glory, Lord. I see all of you. We give you glory, Lord. I see all of you. You are wonderful. You are what you are, Lord. You are wonderful. You are what you are, Lord. You are wonderful. You are what you are, Lord. You are wonderful. You are what you are, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. I see all of you. We give you glory, Lord. I see all of you. You are wonderful. You are what you are, Lord. You are wonderful. You are what you are, Lord. You are wonderful. You are what you are, Lord. You are wonderful. You are what you are, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. I see all of you. We give you glory, Lord. I see all of you. You are wonderful. You are what you are, Lord. You are wonderful. You are what you are, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You are wonderful. You are what you are, Lord. We give you all the glory and honor. The heaven, the heavens and I adore you. The angels bow before your throne. Lord, you say if we lift you up, you will draw all men unto yourself, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Tito Zayana Yabila Pe, Me Ike Le Pawa Nuchwa, Tito Zayana Yabila Pe, Me Ike Le Pawa Nuchwa, 
Ke di to zaena yeso pe me ichele pawa no chwa he robo sonto wirara ha horoba sante re re ha horoba sonto wirara ra 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 he robo sante ro 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 sante ha ro re re no we worship you lord we give you glory lord lord we worship you we give you glory lord we give you glory lord You say praise the Lord. Let it in our prayer, praise the Lord. I will praise you, Lord. Wherever I go, I will praise you, Lord. I will praise you from the bottom of my heart. You are the only God that I know. You are the only God that I serve, Lord. Why? When there is no one to praise you, Lord, you say you will raise us to the praise you. That's why I'm going to praise my Lord. Me, I will praise my God. I will worship my God. Oh. I will sing hallelujah. I will worship my God. My God, don't wait for me. Me, I will worship Jehovah. I will worship Elohim. I will worship Jehovah Jireh. I will worship Yahweh. I will worship Adonah. I will worship my God. I will sing hallelujah. I will worship my God. My God done it for me. I will worship my God. I will sing hallelujah. I will worship my God. My God done it for me. God has told me where. He has lifted my head so high. God on me way, my God on me way, Jesus on me way. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. God, you are the same yesterday, today, forever. You are on me way. God on me way. He has lifted my head so high. God on me way. I will never be the same. Oh, the boss on to be da da da. My God, don't be worried. It's easy, it's easy. My God, I lift my head above my enemies. My God, I know that me with all my current and over. My God, I protect me. He said He would dwell in the secret place of the Most High, bound on the shadow of the Almighty. You said, Don't you want you the shadow of the valley of shadow of death? You will fear no evil, for I am with you, Lord. You said, Show them the way attack you, but they will not prevail against you. Say the Lord, I will be with you to deliver you, Lord. Lord, you are too good for. So faithful, Lord, you are able. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the mighty man in battle. I say thank you. The great I am, I say thank you. The ocean divider, I say thank you. The ocean, the ocean removal, the dressy removal. Oh, the most unto me that. The Lord will remove every obstacle. The Lord will remove every problems from our lives. The Lord will give us victory over the kingdom of darkness. The Lord will perform miracles in our life. You are the miracle working God. You are the miracle working God. You are the miracle working God. Lord, you are the miracle working God. You are the miracle working God. I know your God is a you Lord. I know your God is a you Lord. You are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are the God of the day one. Don't shake your mission. I don't bet you go for the friendly friends. You are the God of the day one. Three evil brothers for the friendly friends. You are the God of the day one. Don't die for the lion day. There is nothing to have for God. Lord, I glorify your name. I worship you today forevermore. Because you are so good. You promised that you will never leave or not forsake. Oh, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
No, your promise is yes and amen. Second Corinthians 1 20. You say the Lord is spirit. Therefore, where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty. According to Second Corinthians 3 17. No, you are able. Because I see that is in me, that he that is in the world. No, I just want to worship you. I just want to worship you in the beauty of your holiness. I just want to say thank you, Jesus. Yahweh is so, Imama Ibarika. Yahweh is so, Imama Ibarika. Gewagala, Imama. Gewagala, Imama. Nangala, Imama. Wala, Imama. Wala, Imama. Wala, Iseke, Izuo. Abi, Izuo. Izuo, Izuo. Grepo, Izuo. Meleka Bedo Barika Yesu Barika Yesu Barika Yesu Gala Imama Yala Imama Jesus There is no Lord in you Thank you for your saving grace We just want to say thank you for everything Lord Thank you for roof of our head. Thank you for all the breath of life most important. Many are lying in the hospital. They are grinding our teeth. They are laying in our oxygen and ventilators. But Lord, here we are. We are living free of church. All you need for us to say thank you, Jesus. Lord, thank you. Father, thank you. Jesus Christ, our Nazareth, thank you. Lord, I'm grateful. Father, I'm grateful for everything. Your children are grateful for everything you've been doing for us. Lord, we are grateful. Because you got time and season in your hands. You call for light out of darkness. You don't need a man to be the God you are. You are chosen to call us your own. Lord, we worship you today in the beauty of your holiness. Lord, thank you. Thank you for eating somebody right now. Thank you for your deliverance. Thank you for your divine visitation in the lives of your people. Those are stranded. Lord, deliver them. Those are me, your healing, your miracle. Lord, me near the point of your knees, Lord. Some are trusting you for breakthrough, financial breakthrough. Some are trusting you for miracle, for healing. Lord, those are suffering for paralysis, for leukemia, from cancer, for arthritis, for high blood pressure, for glaucoma cancer, heart failure, lash heart. Lord, we start today. You are healing. You were wounded for our transgression. You were bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement for our peace are upon you. For your stripes, we are healed. Lord, thank you. Thank you for your miracle. Lord, thank you for your miracle. Thank you for the children of God around the world. Lord, those are facing problems, trials, and tribulation, persecution. Lord, deliver them. You say in your world, shall separate us from loving you, from believing you, from serving God. For when God be for us, who can be their gifts? We are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus Christ. Lord, thank you, Lord. You say in your word, Jeremiah 33, verse 3, call to me. And anytime we answer you, show you great humanity, we don't know nothing about. Lord, we are calling on you right now for your miracle. Because you are a miracle working God. Where your miracle in the life of somebody that trusts you for that miracle, for that breakthrough. Lord, you are good. Hey, so they are praying right now, Lord God. Somebody that is crying to you. Someone that is weeping to you. Somebody that is going to sorrows. Someone that is oppressed. Suppressed and depressed. Oh, Father, lift the bread from their shoulder. Father, you are the bread remover. You say, come on to me. Oh, yeah. Die. We have a lady. And bread in our way give you rest. Lord, you are the bread in lift her. You are the bread and lifter. You are the lifter of our heads. When our enemy tried to pour down his sheep, you are the lifter of our heads. Lord, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. How about Santorina? You said in Psalm 150, 
begin with verse 1. Say, praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty firmament. Praise him for his mighty act. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Hard up was Praise him with the lute and harp. Praise him with the timber and dance. Hard up was Hard up was Praise him with strings, instruments, and flute. Praise him with loud sambas. Praise him with clashing sambas. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord is saying we should praise him. We should praise him. We should dance. We should celebrate. We should clap our hands. We should shake our bodies. I love the song that says, With my body, I'm praising the Lord. With my body, I'm praising the Lord. With my hand, I will clap. With my feet, I will dance. With my body, I am pressing the law. With my body, with my body, I am pressing the law. With my hand, I will clap. With my feet, I will dance. With my body, I am pressing the law. Me, I no go suffer. I no go beg for bread. Hey, the boss so to it. Me, I no go suffer. I no go beg for bread. The God of miracle. Now me papa, oh, he got a provision. He has been met you, oh, Jara. Now me papa, oh, they got a protection. They got a miracle. Now me papa, oh, they got a excellence. He is my father in heaven. Excellent is his name. He is marvelous. He is beautiful. He married him beautiful in his own time. He created it and the eye with our form and voice. And he spoke the word, he said, Let there be light, and there was light. And I was told me that. Lord, you are all powerful. The Lord God is powerful. The Lord God is faithful. He is powerful. He is powerful. He is powerful. Jesus is powerful. And I was told me that. Lord, you are good. Thank you for your miracle right now in the lives of someone. Thank you for your breakthrough. Thank you for destroying every arrow of death that been broken against people. Lord, we all want to know in the realm of the spirit. Every projection, every arrow of sickness, arrow of affliction, we cancel by the blood of Jesus Christ on our soul. We cancel every arrow of affliction right now in the name of Jesus. We cancel every projection of the enemy, every enchantment, divination, incantation, every sorcery, heresies. Dark magic, black magic, we can't say eh, power of the prince of the air because you say in your world, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, we wrestle against principalities, against power, against rule of the darkness of the age, against special hosts of weakness in the higher places for the weapon of our welfare and our kind of, they are about to chew you to the pulling down every stronghold right now. We destroy every strong the enemy that are fighting God's people right now. Every entanglement, spiritual bondage, spiritual cash, spiritual pressing, we break it, we break it, we we break it and we set your children free. God's children are free. The chains are broken. The demons are destroyed. The power of the prince of the earth are rendered powerless. The dark magician, the black magician, the fetish power, the voodoo priest, the altar, the shua, the covid, wherever they are, by land, by air, by sea. Hold on, so to me that their play have been destroyed, have been terminated, have been rendered useless by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, because we Walk in the devil by the blood of the land and the words of our testimony. Masha Kadarada, his poor principalities in power. He made a show of them opening it triumphant, victorially, according to Colossians 2 15. He's the head of all principalities in power. Colossians 2 verse 10, class in us the hope of glory. Colossians 1 27, we get do all things through Christ, we stretch it up. Philippians 4 verse 30, the Lord shall provide our need, shall provide our need, shall supply.
plan on it. I go to the riches in glory to Christ Jesus our Lord. I go to Philippians 4 19 that we may know him in the power of the restoration and the fellowship of the suffering that may comfort us to death. I go to Philippians 3 verse 10. Philippians 2 verse 10 to 11 to 20. I the mention of the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God. Therefore, that every man work at his salvation with fear and trembling. Lord, we thank you. We worship you. We glorify your name. Lord, did they want your people right now? They are sorry for witchcraft, bondage, every enchantment, divination, heresy, demonic power, witchcraft power. We can't say we terminate by the blood of Jesus. We cover the little children with the blood of Jesus. He said, Do not stop the little children to come to me for such a my kingdom. Every child, every children, wherever they are right now, every power of the darkness, every hour of the power of the prince of hell that I bear a commission against them. We overturn it, we frustrate them, we destroy it by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. As in the 20th, this is, and when I see the blood, I will pass over, I will cross over the arrow of death, the angel of death. When I strike anyone, when the blood of Jesus is at your doorpost, I believe the blood of Jesus over every doorpost, in our homes, at our jobs, in our cars, over our family, over our children. We believe the blood of Jesus. Let the blood speak for them. Let the blood speak to them. The blood of Jesus. Speak a good things. The blood of Abel. We speak a vengeance. We speak a vengeance. I call the evil 224. Evil 229. You are the consuming fire. The Lord is a consuming fire. How about was sung to me that. My shake it. You say, surely they will gather, but not because of me. Declare the Lord. Whoever that will gather against him shall fall for that sin. How about was sung to me. Isaiah 54, 15, verse 17 says, No weapon fashioned against this shall pass. Every tongue that rises against it shall be condemned to judgment. Jeremiah 119 said they will attack you, but they will surely attack you. They will not prevail against you. Declare the law, for I will be with you to deliver you. Hold over, son, to be that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You deliver poor and silence. There is power in the name of Jesus that will break every chain. Every imprisonment chain has been broken right now. Every delay, limitation, stagnation, backwardness, not achievement, reproach, rejection, mockery, frustration, disappointment, shame, has been removed by the blood of Jesus, 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 by the blood of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We give you glory and honor. Thank you, Jesus. The songwriter say. I wear this when Jesus on my side. I wear this. I wear this when Jesus on my side. I wear this. I wear this when Jesus on my side. I wear this. I wear this when Jesus on my side. I wear. I wear clap when Jesus on my side. I wear clap. I wear clap when Jesus on my side. I wear. I wear drum when Jesus on my side. I wear drum. I wear drum when Jesus on my side. I wear. I wear. I wear this when Jesus on my side. I wear this. I wear this when Jesus on my side. I wear this. I wear this when Jesus on my side. I wear this. I wear this when Jesus on my side. I wear love when Jesus on my side. I wear love. I wear love when Jesus on my side. I wear love. Father, we give you glory, Lord. We worship you in the beauty of your holiness, Lord. Lord, we thank you for your goodness in the Your goodness and your mercy in the world forever. Your mercy in the forever, Lord. We thank you. Thank you for the bread of life. Thank you for everything you do in our lives. Lord, we thank you. We appreciate you, Lord. Wherever we are, we are not grateful. Lord, forgive us, Lord. Wherever we are complaining, we are murmuring, we are nagging. Lord, forgive us. You don't like complaining. You don't love naggers. You don't, you do not like murmurers. Lord, forgive us. Every Every activity we are engaged in that don't glorify your need, that don't bring glory to your need. Lord, help us. Deliver us. Hard about something. Deliver us from everything that is causing us to not be in good standing with you, to not have good relationship with you. Lord, help us. Help us that we may know you in the power of your resurrection. Lord, help us. Help us, Lord. Holy Spirit, go right now and face somebody. Every disgrace that been released in the atmosphere towards anyone. Lord, take that disgrace to grace. Let the animal soul to me there. Take that story to glory in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
Hara bo son tori. Hera bo son karara mo son tarara. We come against every envy, hatred, and jealousy. Those are all elements of the devil. Because the devil only come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I come to John 10, 10. But God has come. Jesus has come to give us life. And give it to us more abundantly. You love us so much that you gave your son Jesus to die for us on the cross. That whoever believes in you will not perish. But have everlasting life. St. John 3, 16. Lord, we thank you. You have urged us to seek him first God, kingdom, and his righteousness. Then all other things shall be added unto you. You say we should seek God's kingdom for him righteousness. Then all that we seek will find us. Lord, help us that we will seek you with our whole hearts. Lord, take away the spirit of pretense from our lives. Make us to live a life that will bring glory to your name. Make us to shine. To shine in darkness. To outshine the darkness. You say we are the light of the world. No one like the cannot stick and hide it under the table and hide it. But it will, you will place it on top. To shine. And bright in the light the place. Lord, we are the light of the world. He said, let our light shine. Before may that others will see our good works and glorify you in heaven. Lord, according to Matthew 5, 14 to 16. Lord, we thank you. That you will help us. That our light will shine. That our light will not be quenched. Our gift will not become dormant. That we will use our gift to bring glory to your name. Father, help us. That every gift that has been sleeping, let the gift be awakened by the blood of Jesus. Let every gift be awakened. Let the Lord awaken. Awaken every gift and restore every destiny. Every glory. Every star that has been swapped. That has been exchanged. That has been substituted by the kingdom of darkness. Anyone that in you see anybody glory to shine. Lord, we return the glory to the right for order. Oh, Father, we take it back. According to Matthew 2 11, for the night of John the Baptist, the kingdom of heaven has suffered violence. And violence shall take it back for. We are taking our, our destinies, our glory, our star. Hear the so to read that our favor. How the most seeking that we are taking our fortunes, our God's given blessing. We are taking it by the blood of Jesus. It's not by mud, it's not by power, it's by the spirit, says the Lord. According to Zachariah forces, he said, How the most seeking upon my Zion, there will be deliverance, there will be holiness, and the souls of Jacob shall possess their possession. And according to Obediah 170, Lord, we thank you, we give you glory and honor. We worship you. Thank you. Holy Spirit. Once again, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, somewhere. I bring you greetings from Goodness of God, Evangelistic Ministries International. I'm not on my own accord. I'm subject to the leading of the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit asks me, go and just say this, I must obey. Obedience is better than sacrifice. You might not have been seeing me for some time, I move by the leading of the Holy Spirit. If the Holy Spirit does not give me message, I don't just come to show my face on Facebook. I don't come to impress anyone. But I rather come in obedience of the word of God. That we say, go. That we tells me, obey. That the Holy Spirit that tells me, wake up now and do this what I want you to do. It's what I listen to. It's what God's people listen to. It's what God's children listen to. We have to listen and be sensitive to the word of God, to the Holy Spirit. Sometimes you are in another dimension or doing different things. The Holy Spirit tells you, hey, my friend, I want you to go online now and praise me and worship me. In Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says, if you be ashamed of him today, he will be ashamed of you tomorrow. Sometimes you are at your job site, you are at a particular location. And the voice of God, the Holy Spirit is telling you, wake up and worship me. I want you to prostrate. But you are looking at your, your fine dress coat. You don't want it to get dirty. You don't want people to look at you and say, what is happening to her? What is happening to him? You just want to be so secondary. You want to be so responsible, so glamorous, so cozy all over the place. But you don't want to be obedient to the word of God. Obedience is better than sacrifice. You may not understand what it means to serve God faithfully, what it means 
to worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. The Bible says, Psalm 118 verse 24, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall all rejoice and be glad in it. Do you know why it feels like to be counted amongst the living? Haven't you heard stories? Have you watched on the t television? Have you seen what is happening somewhere around in the world, in Asia, in the Middle East, in Africa, in America? Or, or what? Have you heard what is going on? Have you heard how many people have been dead? Have you heard how many people have been stricken? Have you, have you heard how many people have been homeless due to natural disaster? Have you heard? What job was people are going to? But you wake up in the morning, instead of you saying, thank you, Jesus, you start to complain. I don't have this. I don't have that. Look at Jack. Look at Paul. Look at Peter. Look at Flobo. Look at Yapaolo. Look at Kebe. Kebe got this. Kebe is like this. Joseph is like this, but I don't have this. You better stop complaining and say thanks to God. God is moved by praises and worship. If you don't know, it practice it today. Start singing, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, anyhow. I never, I never let my trouble let me down. Whatever problem love me brings, I hold my hand to her singing, Hallelujah, anyhow. You have to sing, Hallelujah, anyhow. From the bottom of your heart, unconditionally. Whether there is food in the house, whether you can pay your bills, you pay the car note, you pay the mortgage, you pay the horse rent, or you ever to even put gas in your car, you don't even have the fitting job. Say hallelujah anyhow. Keep trusting God. Keep having a faith, the radical faith that can move mountain. A faith like a mustard seed to speak to that mountain to be moved and fall into the midst of the ocean. Have faith in God. We all know faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Anyone who comes to God must believe that God is his real. He is for real. He's not a fairy tale. He's not some made up story. God is real. He's genuine. He's all powerful. And he is the rewarder to them that diligently seek him. When you come to God, believe with your whole heart that God is able to move mountains. The soul writer said, you move mountains. You cause war to fall. With your power, you perform miracles. There is nothing that is impossible. We are standing here only because you made a way. Only God can make a way. You Made a way. Do you believe that God can make a way in that situation you're going through now? That situation that seems that there is no way out. When your back was turned against the wall and it seemed that there was no way. In the day the Lord provided a pillow of cloud. In the night the Lord provided a pillow of fire. Are you going through similar situations like the children of Israel were in Egypt? When the Lord told Moses, let my people go. Did they want Israel from the hands of Egypt when they reached at the Red Sea, when Egyptians were behind them, when the mountains were on their side, when the Red Sea were before them, and the Lord made a way, the Lord performed miracles. The Lord said, Today you shall look and see the salvation of the Lord. The Egyptians you see today, tomorrow you'll see them no more. Do you have faith that when all your surroundings are dangerous, when all your surroundings seem to be hazardous, when all your surroundings seem to be so chaotic, when all your surroundings seem to be so problematic, so dangerous, beyond all reasonable doubt, and you, you look to the left, to the right, to the, to the bottom, and you look behind you, all you need to do, look up to Jesus, who is the author and finisher of our faith. He is where our help come from. Psalm 121 verse 1 says, I lift up my eyes unto the hill from where coming my help. My help coming from the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. The Lord is so good all the time. Do not take this God business for granted. Do not be distracted. Do not be carried away. But how many people watching you? But how many people following you? Only be concerned about what God thinks about your life. Be concerned about what God, what matters to God, what makes God happy. Let it matter to you those things that God cherish. 
Let it matter to you. What God does not want us to do, let us don't do it. When you serve God with your whole heart, the Lord perform miracles in your life. What seems impossible with others will be possible for you. But with God, all things are possible. Matthew 19, 26 says, with men, it may seem impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Luke 1, 37 says, with God, all things are possible. Do you believe? With God, nothing is impossible. It is not possible to be impossible. With God, every promise will come true. For there is nothing that God cannot do. Do you hear that? There is nothing that God cannot do. He moves mountains. He causes waterfall. With his power, he performs miracles. There is nothing that is impossible. He always makes a way. He makes a way where there seems to be no way. When there is no father, no mother, no husband, no wife, no sister, no brother, no siblings, no friends. When you are in an island of no hope, you are in an island of destitute, you are in an island of the hopeless, you are in an island of poverty, of peace, sorrow, anguish, agony. Look up to God who is the author and finisher of your faith. He is where your help comes from. Do not look up to men. Do not look up to me. I am disappointed. Do not look up to your pastor. They may disappoint you. But look up to God who is the author and finisher of your faith. The Lord shall supply your needs according to your riches in glory through Christ Jesus. He is our provider. Jehovah Jireh. On the mountains of the Lord, there shall be provision. He will provide on the mountains of the Lord. We all know the story about Abraham, God mm -hmm. asking to tell you, so I said to go and slaughter. Then the lad asked, he said, Father, I have seen and I have seen everything, the wood and everything. And where is the sheep? He said, the Lord will provide. He went with faith. He said, we are going to worship God. Do you know that worship break every yoke? Worship break every mountain, every obstacle, every bondage? Worship break deliverance? Learn to worship God. Look at your problem and tell your problem how big your goal is. Stop making God to know how big your problem is. Stop limiting God. The problem that we all are facing with is because we place limitation on God, we feel that God is limited. God is unlimited. No eternity that God can do anything that he pleases to do. If we will trust and obey, it's the only key, trusting God and obeying his commandments. Denying yourself, picking up the cross and following Jesus should be the first and foremost concern of your life. Do not get distracted by all the beautiful things around. What will people say? Oh, they will misjudge me. Oh, they will say I'm this, I'm that. Do not concern yourself about what people are saying. Only concern yourself about the calling of God upon your life that God wants you to do what he wants you to do. Leave the rest of God to take care of. God will take care of all the, all the, all the talking. All people that are murmuring, nagging, God will take care of them in his own way. You cannot fight for God. No one fight for God. The battle is of the Lord and victory is ours. Remember that. Nobody can fight for God. God fight his own battle. The God of vengeance will fight your battle for you. God of vengeance will bring it to an end. We found a solution. He's a solution finder. He's the path finder to all your situation. God is able to do what nobody can do. God change situation around. God make the barrier to get breath. He did it for Sarah. He did it for Hannah. He did it for Rachel. Your case is not different. Only continue trusting and obeying God. Praise God when you wake up in the morning. You didn't have to do it, but you did. You woke me up this morning and you set me on my way. You didn't have to do it, but you did. Praise God. If you don't even have a sweet voice, go in the Bible, praise your God. God is not interested in a sweet melody. God knows the word and God knows the content of your song. God look at your heart. He said in 1 Samuel 16 verse 7, do not look at the altar, the appearance, the glamorous, the outlook. Look at look at the heart. God sees the inner heart. Sing, go, sing to God in Basa, in Kisi, in Pele, in Loma, in Va, in Ibo, in Yoruba. Chineke idima o idima. Idima o. Chineke idima o idima. Ala Allah ye ye, Allah ye ye, Bobli Allah ye ye. Eh Yahweh, eh Yahweh, kumama, eh Yahweh, eh Yahweh, kumama. You 
wake up sing any song. Sing at random. Eh Yahweh, eh Yahweh, kumama. Eh Yahweh, eh Yahweh, kumama. You are mighty and holy. You are lifted So we worship you. Almighty God, you are lifted above. God, I have a sister that is washed. I went to visit her. She started singing this song. Move on me. Spirit, move on me. Holy Spirit, move in Make my life whole. Spirit, move on me. We started worshiping God. We are prostrate. She was worshiping God with her children. We started worshiping. You don't know what worship can do. Worship can change every situation. Do not look for a perfect place to worship God. Worship the Lord in your Bible. Everywhere you worship the Lord, the Lord is listening to you. Worship the Lord in the midst of your challenges. Worship the Lord in the midst of what you're going to. Worship the Lord in the midst of your affliction. Worship the Lord when there's in no way. Worship the Lord whether you have document or not. Worship the Lord whether you have job or not. Worship the Lord whether you have car or not. Worship the Lord whether you have food or not. Worship the Lord if everyone told against you. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord if no one is there for you. God is there for you. When he raised it up, he will draw a man unto his side. Worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. Worship the Lord that will bring glory to his name. Worship the Lord everywhere you are. Worship the Lord. He said, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Worship 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 the Lord. Me, I will worship my God. I will see Hallelujah. I will worship my God. My God, do it for me. I will worship my God. You want to try when you are stranded, you don't have no plane ticket. Worship God. You want to embark on projects. But there seem to be no way. Worship God. Your mother is sick. Your parents are sick. You want to take them for medication. Trust in the Lord. Do you want Jeremiah 1740 say, Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For you are my praise. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. When you worship God, God will bring deliverance to your family. When you worship God, God will restore your mother. God will restore your parents. God will heal them miraculously. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Nothing should hold you back from serving God. It doesn't matter what it is. You in America, don't look at the infrastructure. Look at God who is the author and finisher of your faith. Do not be get carried away by all the beautiful things. Everything will fade away. All is vanity. But only the word, the word of the Lord will never pass away. The enemy and the eye will pass away. But the word of God will never pass away. The kingdom of God will never pass away. All others will fail you, but Jesus never fail. Jesus never fail me, oh. Jesus never fail me, oh. Everybody will fail you, oh. Jesus never fail you, oh. Your money will fail you, oh. Jesus never fail me, oh. Your riches will fail you, oh. Money is good. Riches are good. But when we acquire them with the fear of the law, it's good. Deuteronomy 8, 18 say, you shall know the Lord your God for it is he who gave you power to acquire wealth. Prophet 10 to the 2 say, the blessing of the Lord may reach and add no sorrow. So my head to the say, what shall a prophet a man to gain this whole world and lose your soul? What shall a prophet a man? Let us be tested and hunger for righteousness, for serving God, seeking God's kingdom first and his righteousness, and then all other things shall be added unto us.
We are always in a hurry. We want my job, my key. Oh, I'm running late. How oh, they run late. The traffic. But we don't concern our, ourselves about how God feel that we abandon him. We will not focus on our jobs. We will not focus on the paycheck to paycheck. God is the one who created a job for you. Don't think it is your education that gave you that job. So when you are working miraculously, the job you are doing, you didn't apply for them. The job located you. So don't take it for granted. It is a privilege. It is a miracle from God. Are you paying your tithes and offering for no jobs? The Bible say, can a man rob God? But he said, in which way have we robbed thee? The Lord said, in tithes and offering. Say, you are cursed with a curse. I didn't say it, though it's in the Bible. Malachi 3, verse 6 to 10. Say, bring your tithes into the storehouse that there will be meat in my house. And put me to the test and see if I will not prove myself strong. I will not open the floor gate of heaven that there will be no room to, rest to, to restore. He said the Lord will rebuke all the devourers, all the canker warrior, all the caterpillar. All your wasted years will be restored. I didn't say it. It is in the Bible. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I don't know why the Lord, why the Lord took me to, to, to that place right now. I move by the leading of the Holy Spirit, as I said. In Malachi, I'm going to read it now. He said, "Will a man rob God? For I say, for I am the Lord, I do not change. Therefore, you are not consumed. All sons of Jacob, yet for the days of your fathers, you are gone away from my ordinance and have not kept them return to me and I will return to you. Says the Lord of hosts. But you say, in what way shall we return? Then the Bible says, when a man rob God, yeah, you have robbed me. But you say, in what way have we robbed you? In tithes and offerings. You are cursed with a curse. For you have robbed me, even this whole nation. Say, so bring all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. And try me now, and in this says the law, if I will not open for you the windows of heavens, and pour out for you such blessing, that there will be no room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sake, so that he will not destroy the fruit of your ground. Nor shall, nor shall, nor shall the, the vine fall, fail to bear fruit for you in the field, says the Lord of hosts. And all nations will call you blessed. For you will be a delightful land, says the Lord of hosts. So we need to pay our tithes and offering. We need to pay our tithes and offering. Obedience is better than sacrifice. When God said, do this, please do. And put God to try. Put him to test. He said, oh, 10%. You make $100, you need to give God by $10. Just $10. We all know you can buy donkey donut every day. You buy chicken nugget, black coffee, and iced tea, iced coffee. You know every day you are drinking them. When you calculate all the cigarettes you are buying to smoke, and more than $20 a day. But God is only asking for 10% of your income. But you are finding it so difficult. That is why most of the blessings are stuck. We are holding fast to our own blessing. But the Lord is saying, when you obey and do this, He will open the floodgate of heaven. The Bible says in Luke says that it gave and it, gave and it shall be given back unto you. Good measure. Shaking down, pressed together, and running over, shall men give back to your bosom. A word for the wise. Let us seek first God's kingdom and his righteousness, then all other things shall be added unto us. All we are looking for in this world is vanity. It will fail you. Only the word of God, only Jesus will never fail. Your family will fail you. Your father will fail you. Your world will fail you. Everything else will fail you. But only Jesus has a guarantee that will never fail us. Only Jesus we can trust. Do not put your trust in any man. They will tell you they are not the Bible that yes and amen. They can change at any time. 
The job you so trust that manager, that supervisor, that leader you so trust. The Bible says in Proverbs twenty one verse one, the heart of the the heart of the the king are in the hands of the Lord, the rivers of water. He can turn them whichever way. Stop fearing them. Fear the law. In every aspect of, of your life, keep trusting the law and keep fearing Him, and leave the rest to Him. Obey the word of the law. Whoever that is challenging you at a job, sir, whoever that is trying to honor my you, the Lord will fight your battle and he will hold your peace. Exodus 14, 14. The Egyptian you see today, don't envy people, don't hate us. Don't jealous people that are trying to conspire, that are trying to manipulate you. You will see them no more. They will vanish. In Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord bless us or may the Lord keep us. May the Lord cause his face to shine on us. Just, just this little motivation, little praises, the Holy Spirit, I just got from church and the Lord told me, say, go online and praise me. I said, okay, I will do it. Sometimes God does not make sense. But let us learn how to listen to the voice of God. Let us be sensitive to the move of the Holy Spirit in our lives. You will not believe it. Four days ago, I went out and I was sitting somewhere. The Lord said, wake up and worship me. In an open place. To a gas station in a waiting room. The Lord said, Worship me. The people were playing some Michael Jackson music and whatever. So I just spoke to them and said, Can you just change your music and play me gospel music? They said, Oh, for sure, we can do anything. They play the gospel music. I spoke straight started worshiping. Everyone was shocked. They closed the door. I was worshiping. I was worshiping God. It didn't make sense, but in the end, I saw some people in their cars. They were outside because it was transparent glass. They were all looking at me. They were so marvel. Why could this lady come and start posturing in the street, worshiping God? Because the Lord told me I was sitting there. The Lord said, worship me. He said, worship me now. I look at my dress. I look at the, the gas station. I look at the floor. I put everything aside. I worship God in the beauty of his holiness. And I got a benefit for what I did. Sometimes we are missing our blessing because we are disobedient. We are not sensitive to the move of God. You go to your job, the, the Holy Spirit says, speak to this man, speak to this woman. Or pray for this child, pray for this person. You say, what were the parents? Do not look at the parents when the Lord tells you, go and lay hands on the child. Pray for the child. You just obey and lead the rest of God. Let the parents think whatever they want to think. Your own is obey God. That's all. Sometimes we be victim of, of situation when the Lord spoke to us say, do this for the child, do this for these people, or oh, pray for these people. We say, oh, what would the pastor say? The mother is looking at me some kind of way, or that sister in the pressing, or the choir director, or these people that they deconnect, the elders are looking at me. All oh, the people are looking at me. What would they think about me? Would they not say I'm on my mind? You leave the rest to God. You just obey. The God gave everyone gift. We are members. Of one body. One person cannot function all in all discipline, in all aspects. God uses people in diverse form. God uses some people to teach, some people to pray, some people to intercede, some people to uh, give for healing. God gave us every gift according to First Corinthians chapter 12. So do not let your gift to sleep because you are so concerned about what the sister is thinking about you, what the church mother is thinking about you, what the church father is thinking about you, or what your mother or your husband or your wife is thinking about you, or what your friends will say. Do not preoccupy your thoughts with all those things. I was once vetted. I became Jonah and I ended in a fish belly. The Lord held me with a boo like this. He held a whole hold of a shikara. The Lord held me with an iron hand. And the Lord changed me in his own way. The Lord had a basoto. The Lord arrested me in his own way beyond human comprehension. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing now. I was once Jonah. Very stubborn. When the Lord called me, I said, hey. When we asked the Lord gave me revelation, I want you to speak to that person. I said, hey. Will they believe me? Hey. Well, how will I even start it? The Lord said, I want you to preach my word. The prophecy came from all anger. I said, what am I going to say? What will I say? The Lord said, what will you say? Then I remember Jeremiah 1 verse 5. Sometimes you say, I'm not educated. I did not go to Bible school. You place all limitation on yourself. God is not interested in the education. Moses was not educated. God can use anything. God can use the donkey to speak to Balaam. 
The same God that used that donkey to speak to Balaam, the same God can make you to speak. The same God can, the Holy Spirit can empower you to preach God while we find you going to school. Oh yes, I have many of my mothers in the church. They didn't go to school. They only spoke the local la language or the dialect, Kisi. But the Holy Spirit empowered them. They can read the Bible. The Holy Spirit can do anything. He's our teacher. He's our deliverer. He's our director. Let us just listen to the voice of God. When you obey the voice of God and keep your decrees and your commandments, all the blessings will follow you according to Deuteronomy 28, beginning of verse 1 to 14. All the everything is in the Bible when you obey. When you obey, when you obey, they are do's, they are do's, and they don't. The, the Bible said, do not do this, do this, do this, don't go that way, don't go this way. But we are so defiant, we are so disobedient, we are so challenging. We say, oh, we want to please people around us, but we don't want to please God. May the Lord forgive us today. May the Holy Spirit take charge of our lives. May he give us a new testimony. May he visit us in an unimaginable way today. Thou shall arise and have compassion over Zion. For the time to favor her, yes, set time is now, according to Psalm 102, verse 13. Lord, have mercy on your people. You say, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. You say, for the worship of sin is there, for the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. Second Chronicles 7, 14 says, if my people which are called by my name will humble themselves, pray and Seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then we are God here from heaven. We are forgive their sin. We are healed their land. For John 1 verse 8 to 9 says, If we say we have no sins, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not knowing us. But if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just for forgiving us our sin and purifying us for all our righteousness. Romans 10 verse 9 says that if we confess we are more of the Lord Jesus and believe with our heart that God has risen from the dead, we will be saved. For with the heart one belief unto righteousness and with the more confession and made unto salvation. Mark 16, 16 says, If we believe in Jesus and be baptized, you will be safe. But if you do not believe in Jesus to be baptized, you will be condemned. St. John 3 verse 3 says, unless a man be born again, he cannot enter God's kingdom. St. John 14 verse 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to my father except by me. Second Corinthians 5 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Behold, all things have passed away and all things have become new. Father, we ask for the Holy Spirit to accompany us today in all aspects of our life through our endeavors. May we put you first and foremost. May you be the point of contact in our lives. May you be the now one that we can call upon. You say in Jeremiah 33 verse 3, you say, call unto me at any time. I will answer you and show you greater humanity which they know nothing about. Father, may you be our now one that we can call at any time. Because you say, any time you call, we call you, you answer. Every time we knock, you open. You are incredible, God. You sit there in heaven, you made it out of your first two. Heaven is your true and the eye is your first two, Lord. The eye is the Lord and the fullness thereof, and those are dwelling there with it, according to Psalm 24, verse 1. Lord, we thank you. Psalm 27, verse 1 says, The Lord is my life, my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strong of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? When the enemy and the force came against me to devour my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Lord God. Psalm 91, verse 1 says, He will dwell in the secret place of the Mosa, shall bow under the shadow of the Almighty. Lord, we thank you. Lamentation 3 37 says, Who is see that say a thing and come to pass when the Lord God commanded it not? Proverbs 5 3 to 6. He said, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding, in all your ways, and not the Lord, and He will direct your path. Philippians 4 6 to 7 says, Be anxious over nothing, but in everything by heart of a sheep, by prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving. Let your request be known to God. Then the peace of the Lord that surpasses all understanding will guide your thoughts and your mind mm -hmm. to Christ mm -hmm. Jesus our Lord. Father, we thank you. Holy Spirit, guide us now. Carry us through in all our endeavors, in our weakness. Your grace is sufficient for us. Your strength is made perfect in our weakness. Paul said, don't say he want to do. He don't see himself doing it. Don't say he doesn't want to do. That's that's what he see himself doing. He said, let it be ex exalted above the measure of the revelation of Christ Jesus. A messenger or set up where sent against it to buffer him. Let it be ex ex exalted above the measure. But he said, my grace is sufficient for you. The strength all of us. My strength is made perfect in weakness. Weaknesses. Lord, let your grace be sufficient for us in this hour. Grant all your grace and your strength to go through every challenging times, every difficult moment of our life. Lord, we pray for those that are bereaved. Comfort them, oh God. You are our comforter. You are the father to the father. Lord, we pray for those that are sick. Heal them, oh God. Lord, did there was someone that is in bondage. Lord, 
meet people at the point of their need. Those are trusting you for immigration breakthrough, for testimony. Lord, we, we overcame him by the blood of the land and the words of our testimony. According to Revelation 12, 11. You are standing at the door. You are knocking Revelation 3, 20. He said, if any man hears you and invites you in, you will come and you will be with him and he will be with you. He ain't in household. In Joshua 34, 25, he said, choose you this day whom you will serve. Are you going to serve the gods of your the rivers, the gods of your father, the rivers, the tree, the idols? Then Joshua said, as for me and my house, we serve the Lord. Are you going to serve the, continue to serve the God of the mountain, the God of the rivers? They can't move, they can't speak, they can't ask, they can't see, they got hands, they can't clap. Joshua said, as for me and my house, we serve the Lord. Make a decision today to be for God. Live for God. Come to God. Bring your whole heart on him. Pour it out to him. Let the living water flow over your soul. The Bible says in John 7 verse 38, say, out of that belly shall flow river or living water. Let the living water overflow your soul. Let every situation that is stuck on your mind, lay them out at the feet of Jesus. And the Lord will give you rest today. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Father, I thank you for your people. Cover us all with the blood. As we are departing from faith, we will not depart from your presence. For where your presence is, there is labor. He said, all true worshippers should worship you in spirit and in truth. According to St. John 4, 24. Lord, let the Holy Spirit abide with us now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Please share and invite somebody. May the Lord bless you all. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.